Hello, I'm Hugh Collingbourne. I'm the instructor on this series of tutorials about programming for beginners. And in this video, I want to discuss loops. Now, loops are constructs that you write when you want to execute a bit of code a certain number of times. You want to loop around the code, running it time after time. One common type of loop is called a while loop. What that does is it tests some condition to see whether or not it's true and the code following the while loop executes while that condition is true. When the condition becomes false, then the code stops ex executing. But when would you want to execute a while loop? Well, for example, let's assuming you're running an animation and you want some object to move from one side of the screen to the other side. To do that, you'd set up a while loop. You would animate the graphic while its coordinates are less than the extreme right, for example, of the screen. Then you would animate the graphic back again while its coordinates are less than the extreme left of the screen, if, for example, you wanted it to bounce from one side to the other. Another example would be you might want to read data from a database or a file on disk while there is more data to be read. So a while loop is a very useful type of loop when there is not in advance a fixed number of objects to be iterated over, to be counted through. When you don't know exactly how long the condition remains true, then use a while loop. Another sort of loop is a for loop, which is often used to count through a fixed number of items, and I'll explain that in a different video. Now I should point out there are lots of different types of loops in different programming languages. There are while loops, repeat loops, do loops, loop loops, all sorts of loops, but I want to stick to the while loop, and I'll just give you a simple example. This is using object Pascal, this is the Delphi environment. I have a form with a button on. Let me click the button. When I click the button, what it does is it tests while button one dot left, that's its left hand side, is greater than zero. Well, zero is the extreme left side of the form that the button is on. So while the position of the button is greater than the extreme left of the form, do this code. And what the code does is it just moves the button further to the left. It subtracts one, so it moves it further to the left uh, until the while loop ends. I've also put in a delay here. I've written a, a short delay procedure because if I didn't do that, the button would move too rapidly. But that's not important to understand what's going on here. So this is simple animation of a button while its left edge is greater than zero, is greater than the left edge of the form, then subtract one from its left edge. Let's see it in action. Here's my button. Click it and off it goes. So that's a very basic, simple example of how to animate something using a while loop. To keep up to date with all the tutorials in this series and to learn about other tutorials online, subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit the Bitwise Courses website at www.bitwisecourses.com. 